How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy 123 here. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a PlayStation 3 or DualShock 3 controller with the RPCS3 emulator. Before we begin, I want to take a look at the RPCS3 wiki, which has a page on this subject. And I'll leave a link for the wiki in the description below. Uh, but if we scroll down to where it says using a DualShock 3 controller, it gives us three different methods on using the PlayStation 3 controller with the RPCS3 emulator one of which is using an X input handler with a program called the SCP Toolkit. An X input handler simply takes your PlayStation 3 controller and it tricks your PC into thinking that it's an Xbox 360 controller. The biggest downside here is that it doesn't support 6-axis or your motion controls, which is pretty important if you're going to be playing PlayStation 3 games. I do have a video on my channel if you guys are interested in setting up the SCP Toolkit. The developers of RPCS3 recommend using the DSHID mini drivers for the PlayStation 3 controller. I find that it's a bit of a pain to set up, but for the most part worked pretty well. The only issues that I had were that the 6-axis or motion controls were pretty buggy. When playing Little Big Planet, my character was constantly lopsided due to the buggy 6-axis or motion controls. So the method I want to show you in this video uses the official Sony DualShock 3 drivers. It's very easy to install and set up. The only downside here is it does not support Bluetooth or using your controller wirelessly like the other two options. And you also need to make sure that you have an official Sony DualShock 3 controller. If you have a third party controller, I recommend trying one of the other two options. Anyways, let's go ahead and begin installing the driver. So come to the wiki page and scroll down to where it says using the official Sony driver and download the DualShock 3 drivers version 3. So go ahead and click on the link here and it's going to redirect you to a mega page. Just click the green download button here and give it eight seconds. And now it's going to ask you where on your computer you want to save the drivers. I'm just going to put them on my desktop for easy access. And it's pretty small, so it shouldn't take too long to download. Now I'm going to head to my desktop and you can see I have this zip folder on my desktop and we're going to need to extract it. So I'm going to use WinRAR to do so. I'm going to right click on the file and then choose extract here. And that's going to extract the driver installer onto our desktop. Now I'm going to double click on it to open it and the driver installer window is going to open. Simply click on install. Now it's going to ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Click yes. Uh, one other important thing I actually forgot to mention is that make sure that your PlayStation 3 controller is not plugged in while installing the driver. Uh, now that the driver is finished installing, go ahead and click on finish. And now it's going to ask you to restart your computer in order for the driver to take effect. So I'm going to go ahead and do so and I'll be right back. So I just went ahead and restarted my computer. And now we can go ahead and plug in our controller to our computer. So simply plug in the mini USB cable into the top of the controller. Pretty straightforward. You'll notice on the controller that no lights are shown. That is fine. We can now go ahead and open up our PCS3. And I have an update for your RPCS3, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, update. And now that RPCS3 is updated, we can now open the gamepad settings by clicking on the pads button in the top bar. And under handlers, choose DualShock 3. And under devices, pad 1 should be detected. Now if I press the triggers on the controller, so R2 and L2, you can see that the sliders on the trigger thresholds are moving. Also, if I move the analog sticks on the controller, you can see the analog sticks are moving under the analog stick dead zone section. And uh, feel free to remap any of the buttons on the controller if you would like, but I'm going to go ahead and leave everything at default and I'm just going to click on save. So now we can launch a game to test out our controller. And here you can see that I'm playing a little bit with the planet with the controller. The sticks are moving and I can press all the buttons and everything's working in game. You can see if I move the controller around, my character's head is uh, nodding up and down. So 6-axis is working just fine. Finally, I believe that using a PlayStation 4 or 5 controller on RPCS3 is the best option. It's simpler to set up and does not involve installing any drivers. Simply connect the controller to your PC with a USB cable or pair it with Bluetooth. Then in RPCS3, select the controller you are using and you're good to go. DualShock 4 and DualSense controllers support features such as motion controls or pressure sensitive buttons, so they'll work well with PlayStation 3 games. They're also easier to come by if you're buying a new controller, since Sony still makes these controllers. Sony no longer makes original PlayStation 3 controllers, 
the only ones widely available online are fake or third-party DualShock 3 controllers, which are hit or miss in terms of whether you can use them on a PC, and may not support all features such as motion controls or pressure-sensitive buttons. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.